Happy October 17th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy failed to solve the Guardian's riddle, so we have a minus two penalty to intellect rolls today. That's what this is supposed to remind me of. We were able to take a somewhat mediocre defensive stance, and so we have a plus one bonus to defense, which is what that marker is supposed to remind me of. The Guardian wants us to prove our kind, critter kind, I suppose, is worthy of a new seed of life. I am pretty sure that means it wants to fight us, and that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. The Guardian pounds the ground with thunderous stomps, its tail whipping through the air. The thorns adorning its antlers appear to lengthen and sharpen, and with a menacing bow of its head, it embarks on a fierce charge directly toward you. See special combat instructions, okay? The wind picks up in the clearing and the forest comes alive to help shield the guardian. A swirling tempest of leaves and swaying branches surround the guardian, offering her protection from your attacks. Engage in combat. Uh, you will make an intellect roll to avoid confusion during combat. Uh, the feather. Confusion will cause you to do less damage. Uh, repeat combat until you've dealt enough damage to defeat the enemy. You'll roll to determine your opponent's damage, d6. Okay, and um, if your intellect roll is less than 12, so we want a 12 or better on our intellect, we have a minus two roll, minus two to that roll, but we have a plus two intellect, so that balances out. Um, so we need 12s on those. Okay, well, here we go. It's got a defense of 18. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, we have a plus 8 attack. Um, okay, here we go. 4 plus 8 is 12. Can we get 6 more points <laughs> on the attack? We do have Radiant Blast. We have Enid who can help us. 6 points. Wow. Radiant Blast gives us a D4. I feel like we'd wind up uh, using... Oh my goodness, it's got 50 health. And an 18 attack. Wow. Well, I think we need to use this stuff. This is no joke. Here we go. Let's try Enid first. Party. Enid can give a <laughs> uh, plus one attack. What did I say we needed? We need six more attack. Did I read that right? Four plus eight is 12. We need 18, so we need six more points. That's going to be rough. Um, are we going to use all our Radiant Surges here? Do we save them for when we have a closer roll? Tell you what, if Enid comes through, we'll use Radiant Surges. If not, we'll, we'll call it Fate. We'll say we just missed this one. So we need a club greater than or equal to 7, and we do not get it. Okay. Enid has spoken. Uh, we're going to let this one go. Um... <laughs> we're off to a great start. So we don't need to worry about the intellect roll because we're not doing any damage this round. Um, it's going to attack us. It's got an attack of 18. We have a plus 11, plus 1. We have a plus 12 defense. So we defend. Uh, and I believe we take no partial damage. So, excellent. This combat could take a while because we both have amazing defenses. <laughs> Here we go, round two. Uh, okay, 15 plus eight attack, that's 23, we hit. Now we want a 12 or better on this roll and we don't get it, so we're confused. So I think that, let's just make sure. You're confused, reroll your damage, take the new result, only if it's less. So we're gonna do two, 2d12. That time we get 10, this time we get 10. <laughs> Plus three, so we do 13 points of damage. Uh, maybe maybe we blast them with some solar flares so we can add damage. I think we'll use at least one here. So that's 10 plus three is 13, plus four is 17. And 
it is down to 33, right? So it started at 50, goes to 33. That's an excellent hit. Now it attacks us, and we want to... It's got an attack of 18. Oh my goodness, 1 plus 12 is 13. Um, I think a 1 is an automatic failure, so it hits us and does 5 points of damage. That takes us down to 18. That's not good. Okay, round 3. 5 plus 8 is 13. We need 5 more points. We already tried and I think we're not I think we're just gonna pass on this round as well. We want to defend against his attack of 18. We get a 7 plus 12 is 19, so we do defend. That was round three. Round four, that's our attack. Seven plus eight is fifteen. We just need three more points to hit him. I think we'll go ahead and use um, a radiant blast. What did I say? We need three more points. Uh, this only gets us a D4. We can use more than one Radiant Blast if we want to. So let's see what we get. Two. We need one more point. So we'll use two Surges of Radiant Blast. We only have one Surge left, but we do hit them. And now we do our Intellect Roll to see if we're confused. And we are. <laughs> so... We will roll this twice. We get a 7 and a 12. So 7 is the worst result. We take 7 plus 3 is 10. And I guess we'll just take it. That's 20. He's down to 23. Now he attacks us. <clears throat> 16 is our defense roll. We easily defend. We take no damage. Okay, next round. Our attack roll, 6 plus 8 is uh, 14. Can we get 4 more points? I don't think we're going to get it. So um, we don't need to worry about the confusion roll. We want to defend against his attack, and we easily defend. That's a 19. Okay, next round. Our attack fails. <laughs> we get a 1. And so his attack... Uh, 2 plus 12 is 13. Can we get 5 more points? What do we have by way of defense? We have a couple of warding ointments. I think we're going to use them. Warding ointment. We also have luminous shield. That will use a surge. Uh, I kind of want, As long as we have a warding ointment, let's use those. So the warding ointment, um, that's going to be... We'll double check. I think that's a D4. Nope, it's just add plus two. Oh wow, we only have two of those, so we need we need to use our surge to defend against this. Anyway, okay, um, we we'll use a surge for luminous shield that adds a d4. We need five points. Am I reading that right? So two. So we need three more points. So we use both warding ointments and the luminous shield. We're out of surges. And, uh, but we do defend, so we take no damage. Okay. Next round. We've got 18 health. He has 23. Here we go. Our attack, 8. Plus 8 is 16. Um, yep, and we're out of other things that can help us. So we do not hit. And, uh, so now we defend. 11 plus 12, we easily defend next round. Our attack, 9 plus 8 is 17. Oh, so close. But we don't have anything that can help us, so we don't hit him. His attack, we defend with a 5 plus 12 is 17. Uh, can we get one more point of defense somehow? Nope. So he does hit us. This is not good. And he does d6 damage, 2 damage. We're down to 16. Okay. We need to hit this guy. Our attack. That's on the edge. I'm re-rolling that. Whoops, and that's out of the there. Third tries a charm. 7 plus 8 is 15. We do not hit. 
His attack, 6 plus 12 is 18. We do defend. Our attack, 17. We hit him. Excellent. Are we confused? We are not. So we take this result, whatever we get, 7. Plus 3 is 10. And there's nothing else we can add to it, right? I'm looking at my list. Oh, hold on. We do have a number of things that can add. We have party members who can help with our damage. So we right now we have 7 plus 3 is... Uh, yeah, 7 plus 3 is 10. Um, and we've got... We have... Who do we have here? We have Vinny, Brindle, and Kit who can all add damage. So Vinny, Brindle... And kit. You know what? I'm going to erase these warding ointments. It says four here, but I'm pretty sure I only have two. Erase those. Okay. So I'm out of warding ointments. Um, Vinny, Brindle, and Kit. Vinny needs a club greater than or equal to seven. Brindle needs a club greater than or equal to six. And Kit needs a club greater than or equal to six. So if any of these are clubs greater than or equal to six. Oh, you know what? Vinny is actually out of the running. He's so, because he's already taken two points of health, we can't use Vinny again until, uh, until we rest. So... Um, that was uh, Brindle, and he takes a point of damage, and Kit, oh, that uh, that counts. The Joker counts. I don't believe it counts as a face card, so um, Brindle takes a point of damage, uh, but Kit adds D4 to this roll, so here we go. We're at... 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 3 is 13. Do 13 points of damage. That's a good hit. He's down to 10. Or she. The antlers. Uh, female deer don't have antlers like that is the problem. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, next round. That was our damage to him. Now he gets to attack us. We want to defend against. Yep. 13 plus. Uh, defense of 12 is 25. We easily defend. Uh, next round. Our attack. 13 plus 8. We hit him. Are we confused? We are not. What kind of damage do we do? 9 plus 3 is 12. And that is the Guardian defeated. Well. Okay. What do we have here? Uh, Thornheart. Once you defeat the enemy... After significantly weakening the Guardian, a pathway miraculously forms among the trees, providing an escape route for the Guardian. Thornheart is not finished, but merely baiting you into a pursuit. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't feel strong enough to pursue. Can we just be done with the fight, please? Have we not proved ourselves worthy? Uh, collect 2d10 amber for defeating Thornheart on this page. I don't like the sounds of that, but here we go. 2d10, 6 amber. We're up to 109 amber. And that, my friends, is October 17th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.